Stove and Tech Glass Installation After the installation of air and moisture barrier, sub-construction and insulation, determine locations and lengths for a graph profiles according to the project-specific drawings. Use a chop saw to cut a graph profiles. Deburr all cut edges. Horizontal agraph profiles are fastened to the T profiles using Stoventro sub construction screws, using a minimum of two screws per connection. Mark the whole locations as shown on the project specific drawings. Ream or punch slotted oblong holes and drill round holes at the marked locations as required. Locate and mark profile locations using a level and clamp the profile in place. Fasten profile by installing a Stowe Ventro sub-construction screw at one end. Check level and fasten at the other end, and then install all screws, placing the screws in the center of oblong holes. Joints between adjacent profiles should be between 3 8 and 9 16 inch. Blacken the sub-construction and insulation at panel joint locations. At the ground level, windows, balconies, patios, ceilings, and roof surfaces, a ventilation profile may be used to prevent pests and debris buildup within the ventilation cavity. Prior to glass installation, clean the agraph profiles and remove borings. On both sides of the panels, screw stow ventro adjustment screws into the panel profile. Set the screw flush for maximum engagement. Using suction cups for lifting, install glass panels onto the agraph profiles. Align panels horizontally according to project-specific drawings. Level panels vertically using adjustment screws. Fasten the panel on one end and level. And complete fastening per project-specific drawings. See design guide for other fastening options. At adjacent panels, spacers or shims should be used to ensure uniform joints between the panels. At external corners, the agraph profiles are connected with L profiles, and the panels extend to meet the corner as shown. See the design guide for all edge type conditions. At window sills, install metal flashing with a minimum 9 16 inch ventilation gap between sill flashing and glass panel. At window jams, install jam trim with a maximum 1 half inch ventilation gap between the jam trim and the glass panel. Alternatively, a glass panel can be used at the jams. At window heads, install metal flashing with a maximum 1 half inch ventilation gap between the head flashing and the glass panel. At grade, provide a minimum of 6 inches to the glass panel assembly. At the top of the system, provide a minimum one half inch ventilation joint between parapet cap or ceiling and glass panel. Visit our website to learn more about the Stowe Ventec system.